Hello and welcome to whoever happened to stumble upon this video. My name is Dana. I'm very happy to have you here and today I'm going to be showing you four simple weekly bullet journal spreads. So this first one is a single page spread. I find these are great for weeks where you don't have a lot going on. I have been doing a ton of them in quarantine. As you can see, my page before this was a single page spread. The one I'm drawing for you guys here is a flower, but you can really get creative with this. As you see, my page before was a mushroom and the different spots were different days of the week. I've done this before with citrus fruit and different sections in the fruit were different days of the week. I just went in and outlined all of my petals using my Micron fine liner, and now I'm just adding in a little bit of color with my Crayola Super Tips, writing the date, labeling each petal with the day of the week, and then just adding in a little more color. And these are supposed to be really quick and easy spreads, so if you want to add in more doodles and more detail, you totally can, but this is just a basic of what it could look like. And here is how the final spread turned out. And here are just a couple of other ones I've done using this method. These were from my citrus theme in April. This next one is one of my go-to two-page spreads that I like to do when I have a little more time to draw stuff out. So first thing, I like to make a circle about in the center of my page and then mark out where I'm gonna do each day of the week. And honestly, I'm a bit of a bullet journal slacker when it comes to this, and I don't always count out how many spaces are between each day, but usually I'll try and do about eight. Then I'll go ahead and sketch some simple doodles in my circle, and depending on what theme I'm doing that month is what I'll draw. So for this month, I'm doing a flower and mushroom theme. You should totally check out my May setup if you haven't yet. After I have the basics of the colors laid in, I like to go in with a fine liner and add in a little bit of detail. And for this, I like to use a thin tipped fine liner because this is just gonna be a backdrop for writing the month and the day of the week, so I don't wanna add in anything too crazy. Then I just went in with a black marker to write in the week, and I was still using the Crayola Super Tips for this, but I find the black isn't dark enough to really cover it. Normally I use my brush pen, but it's actually still at school. Then to really define the circle, I go back in with a thicker micron to draw all these different little twigs and leaves and stems to give it a nice circle around it. Once that's done, all you have to do is write out the days of the week and your spread is complete. So here is the spread finished. Here is a simpler version of the circle technique. This February spread is probably my favorite spread that I have ever done. This next spread is really quick and easy and one I find that I use a lot when I have busier weeks. The first thing I did was just to write the month and the week at the top. 
Then I just drew out each day in cursive and made a nice line to divide all the days. I also find it helpful when I have busier weeks to draw a literal line dividing each day. I find it helps to split everything up better. The days in this spread are also eight dots down. Lastly, for this spread, it looked a little plain for me, so I added some doodles in the corner. But like I said earlier, this is totally optional. You could add a ton of doodles, you can make it super minimal, it's whatever is your style and works for you that week. If you try out any of these spreads, I would love to see recreations, so tag me on Instagram. Here is the spread done. For the spread I did in January, I added a quote, and for the spread in March, I added some more doodles making globes for the numbers. The last spread I'll be showing is a vertical spread. Honestly, this isn't one I use too often, but I know that some people like to use these, so I thought I would give it a try. For the days, I made them 10 dots across and 15 dots down. To label my days of the week, I did half flowers to go along with my theme and I just mix matched all my different colors to do the centers and the petals and for the petals I made them all different shapes. I went in with my fine liner to write out the month and the week and then I just outlined all of the flowers and wrote in the days of the week. I wasn't loving how this spread turned out, so I went in with my colors again and made a bunch of small flowers in between all of the boxes.
Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, leave a comment on what you think my theme for June should be, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and check out my other bullet journal videos.